All right, so today it's gonna be a bit of a different video. You know, I'm not gonna be working out today. Today's video is gonna be a video on the question on how do you deal with haters? So, you know, people that are just hating on me, people that are jealous, people that envy me, like how do you deal with them? And the answer to that question is, I don't. I don't deal with them. Like we don't deal with that. So a hater is always gonna watch your every move because he just wants to be you. A hater will always be there. So he's envious of your potential or of your success. They hate on how you dress, on your physique, the car you drive, your money. And so you say how you deal with it. Well, the key is just to ignore it. So they hit on the next man's success because they want to be you instead of being themselves and focusing on becoming the best version of yourself. So they hit on your physique, on your your um your routines. They hit on the routine on the path that you're going. They see that you're trying to be successful. They see you're chasing your dreams and they wish that they could have done something like that in the past or they wish that they could be doing it right now. But for whatever reason, just not. So people will find anything to hate on you about. So if they hate on you, it just means you're gonna be great. That's just bottom line facts. So in this world that we live in, you have to not care. Like you have to walk through life without caring. You can't care what other people think about you. you no, know, the hate is always gonna be there. It's just a part of life. You know, people hate on you because they see you're succeeding. You could even be your own friend sometimes. They see you're doing better than them. You see, people only hate whenever they see you doing better than them. You know, they congratulate you are, right, bro, you got that new job. Or you're getting better at, the, at this uh, certain exercise or something. But the second that they see you doing better than them, it's like you get that feeling like, oh man, what, what am I doing wrong? Or like, I'm envy of him, but not in a good way. Cause it's envy, or you can be envy in a good way, and you get motivation or inspiration to want to be like him or even better but some people they just they just hate on you completely like they switch sides on you so you know they're saying man you don't take action you're not gonna make it in youtube you're all talk it's not enough action so so sometimes the counter to the haters is you just gotta keep doing what you're doing and self-improve so that's how you counter a hater at the end of the day. You can never scare away a hater because they're always gonna be there. Whether it's a boy or a girl, a hater is just somebody who sees you have potential and that they wanna be you or be in your position. So in this life, man, you gotta have tough skin. You gotta, you gotta have the mindset of, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. And that's how you have to walk through life every single day. Just keep following your purpose, no matter what they say. You can't complain, you can't cry about it. Because if you cry about it or you complain or you think about it for too long, that's when you start getting stuck. And then you start wasting more time just contemplating on like, damn, is he right? Am I really not gonna make it? Am I all talk? Do I not take enough action? And then at that time, at that moment, you already wasted minutes or even hours just thinking, procrastinating on, do I want to make this video? Do I want to go work out? Do I want to go get this other job? So, especially when you're doing something right, that's when you know. So if you're not getting enough haters, people saying like, oh man, you're not gonna make it, or Nah, bro, you're good. Just, just stay regular like everyone else. Then you know you're probably not doing something right. So, I had this guy come up to me 
like a couple of days ago. I had this YouTube thing, like doing some promotion. And he was like, oh, come on, Isaac, what are you doing, man? I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, what is this bull crap? What is this bullshit? And I'm like, well, I make YouTube videos. And he's like, well, what YouTube videos do you make? And I'm like, I make fitness videos. I show people how to get in the best shape of their life. And then he said, what is the difference between you and a different other guy? And I say, consistency. But the key is that you don't compare yourself to somebody else, you know, who started five, two, five, ten years ago before you. And now they're like super successful. So you, you can always compete. It's good to compete against people, you know, but you never want to compare yourself. The only person you would compare yourself to is the person who you were yesterday. So every day I tell myself I have to be better than yesterday. I have to become better every single day. How can I improve? How can I get stronger? How can I make more money? How can I gain more knowledge? So they're gonna hate because you're doing good in life and you're doing what they want to be doing. You know, people gonna hate on you. People gonna be mad. And you just gotta deal with all that. You know, it's just a part of life. So, the haters are really gonna piss you off, man. Like, once they say something and you let it get to you, you gotta be stoic. Like, you can't show no emotion. You can't show no signs of weakness. Like, he got to you. And I think that's something that I kind of struggled for a little bit. You know, once you start realizing that what they say to you, what they do, doesn't affect you. Like whatever they eat doesn't make you shit. So, just the more successful that you get, the more they're gonna be hating. So when dealing with a hater, you just gotta block that shit out. And they say, oh bro, you know, on your weight loss journey, let's say, hey bro, you still fat. You say, all right, I feel you G. Cause you know, you feel where they're coming from. And then you just block their ass. It's that simple. And then they're just gonna keep on pushing your buttons. And keep on pushing your buttons. And when you react, that's when they're gonna keep on pushing them. So you just have to be stoic and not care. So just chasing your purpose at the end of the day. And then you will start seeing people hating on you. Because they wanna be like you or even better. And then they're at a certain position at a job or they don't want to lose a girl or doing what they really want to do, which is what you're doing. So they see you have charisma. They see you have potential to be successful or even way better than them. And they just try to knock you down, try to knock you off your square. And you just can't let it get to you. So the moral about it is you just have to have tough skin. You can't react to any of it. You have to be stoic, keeping your head down, and just grinding. No matter what people say about you, no matter what they think, you know, everyone can have their opinion, but it doesn't make it a fact. They say you don't take action, or, oh, you're still out of shape, or you're still fat, or you're too skinny, and that you need some protein. All you could do, you could either cry about it, you could complain, or you could use it as a motivation and fuel to keep going. Just like a death, a death tragedy in a family, you know? Like nobody cares. Life has to keep on going. Or you lose that job or you heartbreak or, or you lose a girlfriend. Life just keeps on going. You can't stop for nothing or nobody. So it's not the strongest, but you do have to be the strongest, but also you have to learn how to adapt. So that's how you survive through life and get what you really want. Staying consistent, uh, blocking out the hate, not caring what anybody says. Just not caring at the end of the day. So I hope you guys are still on your self-improvement journey trying to become the best version of yourself and today's more like a different type of video i had to deal with the haters so 
I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure I like the video, subscribe. Make sure I comment down below. See what y'all think about this video. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's go. Cool.